Sometimes when I speak to founders and we're having conversations about AI in particular, they say, well, we're going to get put out of business. The tech firms don't need us. They don't need services firms. And in my opinion, that's ludicrous. We've entered the golden era of professional services firms and demand for professional services firms is going to go through the roof. Now, why is that? Well, there's four reasons why technology providers need people like us. First, adopting or the adoption of new technology holds back their growth, their own personal growth. And new tech is hard to get implemented. It's hard to use. Sometimes the new tech, the customer benefit it takes a long time to realize. So the tech providers partner with service firms to accelerate their own growth, their own greed to get satisfied here because the quicker the tech gets adopted, the more license revenue they're gonna generate. So that's the first one is by you being present, you're helping them grow their own business. Number two, it's really hard to scale a tech firm. They have challenges like we do in scaling. Now they're different, but they do have their challenges. They want to spend their time advancing the technology. And when a hyper growth market hits, I mean, it's a space race. They have to constantly be inventing new features to stay ahead of the competitors because everybody recognizes the wave. So what they don't want to do is get bogged down with getting the tech implemented. So they don't want to build big service organizations inside of their tech company. They want to have other people do that. So therefore, they partner with service providers, people like us. Okay, the third thing. Many of these technology providers that are catching this wave, they're the pioneers. And they don't have what's known as a whole solution. What they have is a point solution, meaning they have one piece to the puzzle. The client has a problem. They want to solve the problem, but there isn't one technology provider that solves the entire problem, typically early on when you're catching a wave. So the client needs to piece together two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 point solutions into one solution. And therefore, there's a need for a service firm that can help do that. And the tech firm knows this, and they're years away from providing an end-to-end -end solution. So they got to play nice in the ecosystem, and they need service firms to go mash together these solutions and deliver them to the client. And if they don't participate, and they're not in that ecosystem, they're going to get left behind. So that's the third reason. The fourth reason is economics. So the way tech providers, software firms in particular, which is the use case I'm using today, but this can be applied across professional services. The way that they get valued is they get valued as a software company. And they're in the software comp, which is a very high multiple, especially software companies or technology providers, more broadly speaking, that are the early leaders in the new wave. For example, look at NVIDIA today. I mean, NVIDIA, I think their multiple is like 200 because they're the chip provider that's, that's going to power this new AI wave. So their multiple is huge. If a technology provider is generating more than 20% of its revenue from services, then the analysts say they're not a technology provider. They're a service company. So their multiple comes down dramatically. So their market cap, or the valuation of their private enterprise gets crushed. So they know they need the services, but they can't become a service. They have to be true to who they are. So they build these ecosystems. So get this. So in February, Bain made their announcement. They got a brand new AI practice. In March, McKinsey made their announcement. And in May, Boston Consulting Group made their announcement. So these, and that's just management consulting, I'm highlighting them as an example, but these giant consulting firms have just bet the farm that they're going to generate, you know, fees 
for a long time from major corporations trying to come up with artificial intelligence strategy and execution. And all three of them did it, you know, within 60 days of each other. We are in the mass adoption market of artificial intelligence, and therefore our members should be discussing with themselves how they can ride that wave, because it's probably a decade plus of a massive amount of services dollars that are going to be spent to make that happen. This is a once in a generation opportunity that's sitting in front of all of you right now. Riding the AI wave in your little world, in your little service sector, should be priority number one in your strategy at the moment.